Here's another simple uh, trading strategies or setup video and what we're looking at here is a company called Austal Limited. Their ASX code is ASB and what we're looking at here is a daily chart from the first six months of this year of 2009. If I just come down to the the uh, x-axis, the uh, calendar down there, you'll see that we're looking at literally the first six months of 2009 and this is what we've seen uh, during that period. Um, now the reason why this has popped up in one of my scans is because for my medium term trading I often look for stocks that are in established uptrends and this uh, would have come up just a week or so ago because of the fact that it's moved so strongly, in fact it's almost doubled in price just throughout this period here so it's uh, appeared as a potential uh, long opportunity. But why it's now caught my eye is probably, it, it's interesting, it's where I, I want to trade this now in the short term, but it's really for a long term reason. And let me try and explain that. Because if I zoom out now, um, back the last 18 months or so, in fact, uh, maybe the last two and a half years, we'll see that over the last two and a half years, ASB has had uh, this movement down towards here, but I can sort of just draw a rough sort of line down um, in that sort of area there and what we can see now of course is over the last couple of months or so um, ASB has moved very very strongly back up into this region and it's almost doubled in price over the, a month or so but we're just seeing again uh, a weakness and a fading and uh, a reluctance for it to move any higher and uh, a lack of uh, support for this stock and it's sort of rolled over and, be, and when you see this sort of pattern forming where it's moved away admittedly it's sort of uh, fought, fought very, very strongly to regain a lot of lost ground and in fact throughout this time here at the beginning of 2008 when the vast majority of companies were falling uh, very, very strongly, this stock again literally doubled in price moving from below $2 to uh, close to three fifty in a time when most stocks were, were uh, not just falling but falling very, very strongly. But again it's uh, it's at some point, um, you know, the uh, supply of stock has overcome the demand at this particular price at 350, and it's fallen away heavily again. And what are we seeing now in the last couple of months? If I just move down again, what we're seeing now again in the last couple of months, I'll just get rid of that line there, is again a very strong fight back, a, a real, a huge amount of demand pushing this price up very, very strongly against the more medium term, longer term trend. Uh, again, doubling in uh, doubling in price, but again, just like I've seen previously, and I think patterns are very, very effective in trading. Just like, like I've seen previously, this stock has just struggled a little bit, starting to roll over, and now, of course, over the last couple of weeks, we're not starting to see new lower lows being achieved. And if I zoom right in, we can see that just over the last uh, last couple of weeks or so, we've had a bit of uh, support through here, 250, nice key number, it's likely to be either a resistance level or a support level and if I just draw that line sort of there at 250 you can see how often the price has sort of hit that level and uh, and reacted that at that level and we can see in recent times for a good couple of weeks there it uh, found a lot of support there, uh, strong support on its roll back down from 280 um, but eventually unfortunately the support gave way but again once that support gave way Often if support is broken, it becomes resistance. The very next day it uh, opened up near 250, tried to get to 250 and failed, has tried again. And I, I think now we're seeing a real shift in that uh, even though over the medium term this has been quite strong, I think in the short term now we see uh, very much a lack of uh, support for this stock. The fact that it's broken back down through that key level of um, 250 uh, and we can easily see a lot of downward uh, downward sort of uh, potential here. Then when you consider that pattern there in relationship to what's happened over the last two and a half years and how often we've seen it, uh, seen it fall considerably and again I'll just put it what we're seeing now into perspective, what we are likely to see now is the fact that if I just draw that sort of pattern down through there, we've seen it fall strongly only to recover, seen it fall stronger again only to recover and I can think now if you are a more aggressive trader willing to trade the short side we can now see the sort of potential for it to begin another very long downward leg similar to what we've seen previously we're just catching it uh, rather than new at new lows we're catching it now in a uh, you know sort of better time and looking to take advantage of what could be quite a strong um, potential move 
south and uh, heading back down again because that's certainly what um, what uh, potentially and likely may happen. So again, it's the uh, you know it's come up because of my medium term. It's moved quite well because only three months ago it was at 150 and now it's at uh, well over two dollars. So it's come up based on those um, conditions. However. If you're a little bit more aggressive trader, willing to trade the short side, you can clearly see a lot of downward uh, potential there, even even though the reasons why you're getting into the trade are combined with a very long-term uh, assessment as well. But certainly that key level at 250, giving us reason to, uh, you know, when it broke lower, giving us reason to um, go short, putting our stop just above that key level. It's moved lower again. You could easily see it falling through that 230 level and easily returning back to 150-ish, if not lower again. So the trade short in this particular situation and then to use a derivative product, whether it be an option um, or a CFD or something of that nature, you can really see a lot of downward uh, potential um, on this very simple setup where we've uh, you know, recovered very, very strongly, but we're just starting to roll over and failing to hold on to the gains from the last few months.